Hey guys, welcome back. How's it going? Mark here. And today we're going to be talking about engraving portraits with our laser engraver. So let's get to it and see what we can do. So for these portraits, I'm not going to really do any editing for them. Mainly, I'm just going to convert it to black and grey because I know my laser can read that. And what we'll do, we may enhance the blacks on the image and we'll also try a website which says it converts images to be used for certain materials on your laser engraver. And that website we'll go to, I'll put a link in the description for it, it's called Imager, completely free to use, and we'll see how it turns out. We'll turn to the computer now and let's have a look. I'm gonna find an image of not only your favorite sporting personality, but mine too, good old Paddy the Baddy Pimblet. I'm gonna Google search Paddy Pimblet PNG, and what they'll do, that'll bring up a photo without a background. Now, it doesn't matter if you have a background in the photo, it can still be done, but for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna try and find one without a background. It'll just be easier to process and easier to engrave and a lot quicker. But yeah, there we go. The first one we find is a perfect example of one. So I'm just gonna right click that and save that image. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do here now, I'm also going to be using Photoshop to convert this to black and gray. And if you haven't got Photoshop, it's absolutely fine. Again, there's a website you can use completely free and it's exactly the same as Photoshop. The link again will be down in the description. It's called photop.com. And they like said it's exactly the same as Photoshop. So what I'm doing in Photoshop, you can actually do on this website. So I'll take the image, I'll open up the image. And I'm just going to go image adjustments, black and white. There we go. Nice and easy, that converts it to black and white. It was black and gray, but it's fine, <laughs> it works. So there we go, with that image done, that's all I need to do. I'm just gonna now save that and then import that into Inkscape. I'll resize it. Um, I don't want it too big, I don't want it taking too long, so I'm gonna be in, uh, doing a couple of different engraves. So uh, yeah, we'll make this, uh, we'll go 85 high. And yeah, that looks fine. So we can just save that out now as an SVG. And then I'm going to be using K40 Whisperer to load this in. So because it saved as an SVG, I can open that in K40 Whisperer. So load. What we're going to need to go here is once we've loaded the image, go to settings and go to advanced settings. And you see there's an option at the top. It's half tone in brackets dither. That does need to be selected because I think what that does, that reads like the grays in the image. So it's not just going to read the black and white. It'll also read the grays. So it'll go the power you set at black, no power at white. And then where the greys are, depending how deep the greys are, the half tone, it'll either engrave, you know, middle power near the top or near the bottom, just so the greys do come out. And for all these, I am going to set the speed at uh, uh, 400 millimeters a second for the brass to engrave. On my machine, we'll go different powers and we'll see which one works best. Okay, so. That's nice and easy for that. I'm just going to use that image. But before I do continue, I'm going to edit one more photo of this. And we're just going to bring the blacks up a little bit more. So with the photo there, I'm just going to go image, adjustments, and then curves. And you'll get this little bar up here. And I'm just going to slide that over to the side, keep an eye on the image as I'm doing it. You don't want certain bits to be too black because there's not going to be any definition there. Because at the moment you can see before we do it, you can see obviously the strands of hair, the shadow under his neck. If we go too far over, they just look completely black. So it's not going to be in detail there. So you want a happy medium. And uh, I think that will be fine there. So we'll, we'll also try that image. We'll try the normal image, which we've just converted to black and gray, and then we'll try the enhanced one and see which one works best. For this, I'm gonna be trying on some standard three millimeter birch ply. Um, and then I'm also gonna try with the borax method, which makes engravings come out darker. So we'll try both of them. I'm also gonna try on a bit of a um, bit of card as well. I've got quite thick card, and we'll see how it turns out on that. Right then, guys, we're back. I've run, I've run six different engravings now of old Paddy um, on wood and on card. That's what I've done here. So we'll take a look at it first. What one we got here first? So the first one I want to take a look at is the one from Image R. So let me try and cover the other two. That's the one from Image R. So we engraved that 400 millimeters a second and 10% power. 
And if you remember the one on image art, it was just a black and white image. I mean, you can tell it is Paddy, but I don't think it's that good to be fair. It's a, uh, there's not really much detail in it. It looks like Russell Howard, to be honest with you. So the next photo I've done now, this is just the one I took into Photoshop and just converted to black and gray. And if I show you that one, which is the one in the middle, ignore the black bit on the top. I think I just got a bit of borax on there. So that's just burnt it out. But as you can see, it's a lot more detailed there. And that is just converting the photo to black and white or black and gray. And I think that looks pretty good. It's just not as dark as I'd liked it to have been. So what I did then with the, with the enhanced photo where I've enhanced the blacks, I've also done that. Now this looks horrendous. I don't know why it looks so bad. I think it's because I've done it on the end of the machine. It's just had a bit of a, a bit of wobble there. But yeah, I don't like the way that's turned out at all. The best one I've got is the one that's in the middle. If I did that, uh, what I do, I uh, 10% power. If I did that, maybe like 14% power, I think that would have just turned out really well. And this, I haven't done anything to this wood. That's just standard. On the other side though, I have done um, uh, a borax wipe on it. So mixing borax with hot water, wiping on, as I said, it brings out the blacks. Right, so this is the three millimeter birch ply with the borax mix. And that's the first one. Now that's the exact same image as the center one there. With actually less power, it's got 4% power, 4% less power. And that has turned out absolutely fantastic there. I think that's done so, it's done it so well, all the details and everything's in there. But what is even better, what I think is the one with the enhanced blacks. How good is that? That's the same settings as this side. So that's 400, uh, 400 millimeters a second with 6% power. But that looks absolutely amazing. All the detail has come out there. You see the shadows under his neck, his hair, everything. I think that's fantastic. That is my favorite one on wood. But my favorite one I've done all together is what I've done on card. It's not cardboard. Um, I don't really know what it is. It's just it's like two millimeter card. It's a bit strange. But this photo, so if we go back to that one in the middle where it's just converted to black and gray, that is all this is. The blacks are not enhanced on this. And that is perfect. That has come out so well. It's engraved. See, the face is actually a little bit whiter. So the slight grays from the image with the dithering turned on, it's turned out amazing. It's engraved everything on there. So any images I'm going to engrave in the future, I'm going to use the borax method because that works. Any big projects I need to do like, like this and needs to be put in a frame or anything like that, I'm going to be using card because that's turned out so well. Honestly, I'm chuffed with how well that's turned out. There we go, guys. It was a nice, easy one today. Very short. Do hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next video. So that out.